culture and pearls. Born in Vietnam in 1972, I was raised in France from 1976. Born in Hong Kong in 1982, you were raised in Boston since the age of three. And you, you, who lost your name on the way from Vietnam, you were born in 1983 in a place that once existed in Thailand. There were no cots in that camp, destroyed since. Your parents fled a fate doomed by war. Their hometown they left for a makeshift place. Here we are today, the three of us together. Me, sitting on this coffee table. You, sprawling in deep armchairs, mingling our long silky hair, sharing bits of story, seasoned oatmeal cookies, and sipping spangled mocha in Starbucks America. I remember cold showers, I remember crowded markets, I remember white beaches, Cap Saint-Jacques in a jeep, I remember red ant stories in which babies died, I remember grandma's bed under which we had to hide. I remember helicopter noise. I remember bomb alerts. My parents landed in Paris with three children. Yours landed in New York, their hearts swollen with hatred for China. And you, you, who lost your name. Your parents arrived in America with a hope token worth three dollars. How many years did it take them to rise from moonlighting to sunshine, from a blighted to a bashful life? Two times five, two lives in one. There's also that other friend, born Zhen Zhu Wong, in Wong, Hong Kong, lived, in a while, lived a while in bleak London before going to Florida, where she changed her name to Emmy and her nickname to Chipmunk before disappearing for good, bouncy little dumpling. After wartime migration, how can there still be white pearls? Who is any color anyway? And surprisingly, we shiny stars are all striped today. And surprisingly, I tell my friends, I'm off to Israel in May, where Vietnamese people found refuge in the 70s.